Hi, kindergarten. So today what we're going to do is we are going to finish our, um, our fall tree uh, natural environment artwork. And so last time what we did was we created um, a really cool uh, coffee filter moon and we spray paint or I sprayed it and it got it's got spread and it looks really cool. So we'll get to that later. What we also created was we created um, a, a, a painting that has some colors that kind of look like tree bark on it. So I'm going to get to those later. So what I'm going to be giving you today is I'm going to be giving you a piece of purple paper for our background. And then what I'm going to be giving you is I'm going to be giving you a big piece of green paper. These are going to be the hills in the, um, in the picture. All right. So first step, what you need to do is you need to take your pencil. And then I would say about below halfway, you're just going to make kind of like whatever kind of hill line you want to make. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that out. Go on the line. If you cut off the line, that's okay because hills can look however you want them to look. All right, I'm going to keep that for later. We can use that for art skills later or something. It's a nice big green piece of paper. Focus this a little bit. Yeah, the colors are a little different. That's okay. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to take my glue bottle and I'm going to glue this down. So what we need to do, and I'm just going to like flip it over when this is done. So to make sure that your glue is open, what you need to do is you need to twist it. And when that part is separated from, when the orange part is separated from the white part, that means that it's open. When it is closed, you should see the little plastic tip. So I need it to open, so I'm going to open that. Now, for putting glue on, you just need a dot, not a lot, a little dab will do you. So you might have heard that before. So you're going to put dots. You don't want to make puddles. You want to make raindrops. So I'm just putting them in, I'm spacing them out just so I'm sure that it's all covered without making a big puddle. We don't want glue puddles. Maybe some littler dots, just kind of like right there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this piece of paper over and I'm going to set it down. I'm going to make sure that it lines up with the bottom. Just do your best. Is a okay? All right, and now we are ready for some tree trunks. Well, actually, no, we're not. We are ready to put the moon on. So the moon is in the very background. So then, so you're gonna take your moon. You're gonna take it off the paper. Oh, look at that! It made a print. Oh, that looks so cool. So I'm gonna take my moon and I am going to glue this as well. So I think I'm gonna put that right there. Same thing with the glue. Oh, I didn't have it open. There we go. Dots, 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 dots. Some of them made some lines. That's all right. It's up to you where you want to put it. Just make sure it fits somewhere. If it goes off the paper, we can even trim it a little bit. That's totally fine. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's not going to pop off. Wait, keep closing my glue bottle. That's good, though. You always want to close it when you're not using it, just so we don't have edges of our moon popping up. All right, that's looking pretty nice. And those glue spots will dry, and they'll, give, they'll help the moon effect as well. All right, now we are ready for our trees. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some strips. I have my paper the horizontal way, and I'm going to cut some strips for my tree trunks. Some can be thicker. Some can be thinner, up to you.
you can use the whole paper. I would like you to have at least four or five tree trunks. At least four or five. Let's see. So I got five right now. Put that off to the side. Let me see where I want these to go. So I kind of want that one like kind of right there. Maybe I want this one going up a little higher. Maybe, maybe I just, I want maybe like one in front of the moon and maybe like these are kind of off on the side. That's okay if you have some gaps because we're going to be making leaves um, in those as well. All right, so I'm going to glue these down now as well. This one, it's going off of the page. I'm going to trim that, that top in a little bit. And if you notice some kind of curling off, put some more glue under those. Now I'm going to cut off that top part, just like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to line up, and I'm going to give you a plate of paint with some fall leaf colors on it. So we have some yellow, we have some orange, and we have some red. So for this, when you're doing this, you're going to get three Q-tips. One, two, three. And the one thing I want you to remember is when we're putting the leaves down, don't mix this all into one color. That's not what we want. We want to show all the different colors of fall. So I'm going to take all three of my Q-tips at the same time. I'm going to get them at about the same level. You're going to kind of have to hold them like that. I know you can make it work. You can do it. And so, like, let's say I want to start off with my orange. That's okay that a little bit of yellow got in it. We just don't want to mix it all together. So I'm going to start. I'm going to overlap. That means going over your background or over something else, go maybe a little bit into my yellow. Make sure to go all the way up to the tippy, tippy, tip top. Hope I got a little bit of paint right there. That's okay. That can be like, oh, I'm going to make that into a mistake, into a masterpiece. That's going to be a leaf falling onto the ground. I'm going to make some of those. Oh, see, we can even problem solve along the way. I'll definitely make some leaves falling there, but still keep going with your Q-tips. Put some red. If you get paint on the table, that's okay. We'll clean it up. Overlap this a little bit. Yeah, make sure, like, if you have one that's lower, make sure you overlap that. And just kind of pressing, just kind of stamping them down. Oh, my hand is getting a little tired. That's okay. Sometimes you need to put it down and take a break and shake your hands out. That's perfectly fine, but we want to make sure that we cover most of the top of the artwork. So I'm going to keep working hard. Try to have some leaves go lower. Because this tree is thicker, it's closer, this tree is closer. So their leaves, you're going to see more of them coming down. All right, I think that my t I'm happy with my top. I'm going to make some leaves on the bottom. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you can if you want to. Just going to put a few, not too much. Just enough to show that some leaves are falling at the bases of the trees in our natural environment. All right, and then the plate with the Q-tips, when you're all done, 
goes into the garbage and then this goes on the drying rack. Great job.